What's going on, y'all? We back with another video. Right now, I'm down here outside the vet. About to go back in here with my girl Lola. Today, she's at 50 days. So, a couple weeks ago, we was down here. We did a uh, ultrasound. They were saying they seen about five to six puppies. So, today, we're going to confirm it with the, with the x-ray. X-ray will show exactly how many in there. And plus, they, they get us a date for the C-section. Um, a lot of times, you really don't want to go up the date you do. You, it's about 62 days, 63 days. But you really want to go off the um, the temperature. So like the normal, the normal temperature for a dog would be about 101, 102. So once you check the temperature, and if she drops to about um, like 99, your pups on the way. So within like 24 to 40 hours, your pups will be on the way or she'll be ready to push. So if you got a dog that can't push, what you wanna do is contact your vet and or whoever you got that's, that's scheduling your C-section and try to get them in or schedule like soon as possible. So right now we about to walk up in here we want to see what's going on with the x-ray. Got my girl right here. She loaded. She loaded right now. She loaded right now. So we're just going to take her. Get her checked up. See what's going on. But there's one skeleton definitely right there. You can see that's his head, that's the rib cage there. I can see some mineralization here, and I see some mineralization here, but I'm not getting a full skeleton there. So I think you might have at least three, but I can't guarantee these two. Like I'm starting to see the little, like the faint lines like these have in these areas, but I can't distinguish them. Um, the other view we can do, I can flip it and make the skeleton black. So again, I definitely see this one here. Like I say, I see faint lines in these areas, but I don't have like that full skeleton where I can go, here's the head, here's the rib cage. So I think you have more. I just can't see them yet on that x-ray. She's just, they're not that dense right now for me to count them. Cause like this is, these are her bones. You can see how dense they are. These should pop up better. So we might be a little touch early. She might be more like day 47. Cause even though she was bred on like the 29th, yeah. it could take a couple days for that yeah, to actually yeah. happen. So we might just be a few days earlier where I can't see it. All right. But they're there, like I said, I can see images of them. <gasps> but I just can't give you an accurate count, unfortunately, today. All so right. her day 60 is the 28th by my count, but it might actually be pushed back a little bit yeah. for her. Um, so I just go off the uh, temperature. And... Yeah, temperature and milk drop. Mm -hmm. right. So when the temperature drops below 100 and stays there, yeah, yeah. she's about 24 hours old uh -huh. for her. So and unfortunately, your C-section girl is going to be a little surprised. Yeah, so we just leaving a vet. Um, they try to say they see two to three. They try to say they see two to three uh, puppies, which I don't understand because two weeks ago, I was just in here, they gave me the ultrasound and I seen with my own eyes, it was five to six heartbeats. So, of course I want more, but I just I just feel like, I wasn't set up for what they told me today. And and it was an x-ray that's supposed to read more accurate than the, um, than the ultrasound. So, I still got more work to do, man. So right now I might, I'm thinking about trying to take it somewhere else to get an x-ray so I can get a better view and just go from there. But, you know, I'm just, just as long as it's a healthy litter, man, that's all. I don't look at a healthy litter, but to me personally, I feel like she's way too big to have two puppies in her. You know what I'm saying? But now it's just more of the waiting game. So they got me sitting back waiting. So we are gonna see how it play out. Um, I'll get back to y'all and make another video if I do find enough somewhere else to take it to get an x-ray or ultrasound. But till then, man, we're just going to lock in. We're just going to 
just pray for a healthy litter. See what it do, man. FOE Kennel, appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever y'all do. And stay tuned for the next video.